My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be putting new tires on the trailer, and I'll be sharing with you what I chose, why I chose it, and uh, where I'm going to get them installed. Also on the bench here, we've got my chainsaw. Did a previous uh, rebuild video on this. Uh, it's having some issues, so I'm going to be rebuilding this in another video in the future. If you're interested in that, check it out and let's get to the trailer. I purchased this enclosed trailer for the landscaping business over a year ago. I've got uh, long term review videos as well as an initial review video if you want to check those out. Um, but I, long of the short, I've had this trailer about a year, uh, a little, about a year and a half now actually, and we've got about 8,000 miles on it. The rear trailer tires are almost bald, they're pretty much gone. The front trailer tires are about half tread, and I think the reason for that was, is, is last year I towed with a tongue up position, the trailer was tipping upward, and that caused a lot more drag on the rear tires, um, and they just wore out more. Um, so I'm hope I've already fixed that. I've got some hitch review videos I've done, a way safe hitch, bulletproof hitch, B and W hitch, a bunch of different hitches, but long and short, I needed a drop hitch. So put the drop hitch on, and now I'm riding at the right height. Uh, currently, I've got the bulletproof hitch on. But this year I'll be trying out all those different hitches and seeing which ones work best and do a long term review video on some of those hitches as well. What I've chosen for these tires is the Carlisle. And the reason I chose that tire is because it's really well rated. A lot of the tires out on the market are kind of cheap trailer tires. Not really great, not really good quality, and they're really inexpensive also, which is great for most people. Uh, but for me, I'm putting a lot of miles on these tires and I wanted to make sure that I was getting the, the most life out of them and less trips to the tire store and more time on the road. Um, something that's happened between buying the trailer and now, when I purchased the trailer, I, I purchased an extra spare tire and unfortunately, I got a nail in that spare tire and I, I set it in the bed of my truck and had it in the bed of the truck for about a day. I was gonna go to the tire store and have the nail pulled and have it fixed and unfortunately, somebody decided to snag that spare tire that was flat at the time. Um, so currently, I only have four tires so it kind of led me to a debate of what to do. Do I buy a new tire and rim package online? A lot of online vendors have them between $100 and $150. I looked at it, we're looking at um, four or $500 to do that. And then I'd also have to purchase an additional tire for a spare, or I could use one of my old, old tires and rims for a spare, which is more, uh, more than likely the case. So we're looking at about four or $500 for that option. Another option I looked at was buying through uh, a local tire shop and having tires mounted. Um, and then I'd have two half tread tires that came off, but I'd have to have rims to put them on. Looked at uh, cost of rims and really weighed the pros and the cons and the options and came to the decision that with the coronavirus and everything else, I chose to go with a uh, discount tire. They have uh, online, you can schedule it. So today I've got an appointment scheduled for 8.30. I've already purchased the tires essentially online. They've shipped them to the store. Theoretically, I hope they're there. And I'm gonna to go to the store at 8.30 and they're gonna put them on, charge me whatever I need to do, and I'm out of there. So hopefully it's quick in and out. I won't have to be sitting in their weight room forever. And I hopefully I'm not getting exposed to this virus that's going around. And I did order a rim, which is not here yet. I ordered that through eTrailer.com and that should be here in the next couple days. I don't even believe that shipped yet, actually. So I was hoping it'd be here sooner. I was hoping I could just, you know, put one of those tires right on the rim, but I'll have to take it back and get it mounted. I will uh, let them dispose of two of the tires because they're pretty much gone, like I said, and I'll keep the other two, one unmounted, and then I'll eventually have them mount the other one. And we'll be doing this Carlisle. Uh, one option with the buying uh, the full set from a place like eTrailer.com is a lot of those name brands on those tires were, uh, again, the low end tires. And I wanted to do Carlisle because everything I've done sounds like you're, people are getting two, three years out of them whereas I only got one season out of these tires and they're needing to be replaced. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna go do. Um, I'll give you an update, we'll do some shots of the before and after on the tires. Uh, I did go with a radial tire on this. Uh, with trailer tires, just a brief synopsis, most trailer tires are ST or for special trailer, and then mine are 205, 75, 15s, 15 inch rim. Um, 205, 75 is the smaller um, tire, I was like a 225 as well, which is a little bit larger. Um, but the, the different, you can have radial or bias plied, and 
R stands for radial, not rim size. R15 is for radial on a 15, not rim size 15, which is what I always thought growing up. And then the D, there's also a D15, which is the bias ply tires. Uh, mixed information online is what's better, uh, whether your trailer sits, whether your trailer drives, all this different information, do your own research. Um, I landed on the radial tire, um, but bias ply is the D1, and it is um, supposedly better for if your trailer sits around a lot. Um, I can't remember which one. One of them is, is still belted, and so like you'll have flat spots on the tire after it sits for a long time. So those are the type of tires that you'll see RVers actually elevate up their trailer and pull it off the ground so that their tires aren't sitting on the ground. That's why they do that is because otherwise it'll create a flat spot where all that weight sits for a long period of time and those belts will kind of hold that shape. Also with uh, trailer tires, another big thing I was looking at was the speed rating and the load range. So I think I opted for the load range D. My trailer only calls for a load range C, which is like 1,800 pounds per tire, which is just over 7,000 pounds, which is what my trailer is rated for. I actually opted for a load range D upgrade. Um, so that's what I chose with that and also a speed rating. Um, I occasionally get on the freeway, not super often, but I wanted something that was capable of going up to speed, and these tires are rated with uh, 81 miles per hour uh, for their top speed rating. So those are all things you should be looking at when you're looking at trailer tires. Um, Discount Tire actually had really good uh, specs on their website showing those different things. Looking on different websites like eTrailer.com or RecStuff.com or TrailerTires.com. I mean, there's dozens if not more trailer tire websites online where you can buy tires only, wheels only, tire and packages. And a lot of their specs were not the greatest. They may have given you the specs, like they may have given you the speed rating. Uh, I think the speed rating on these is like 107M, which means it can go, it's the D rating and the 81 miles per hour. But if you don't know what the M means or the 107 means, it's really hard to know. Uh, Discount Tire was really good about displaying all that. Um, I'm purchasing these uh, for the business. Uh, paying full price for them. I'm not getting a discount through YouTube or anything like that. Um, it's just what I ended up deciding to do. One thing I generally do with tires is I actually have a local shop that I go to for mounting my tires and purchasing tires for the mowers, whatever, and also my alignments on my vehicles. I usually go to a local shop because I like to support local, um, but right now with how things are, I didn't even want to mess with it. And the fact that I can order them on discount and have it scheduled time to arrive and do it. It just worked out really well and flawlessly. So uh, kudos to Discount Tire on, on their online presence and their online process it made this really easy. Uh, we'll go in store and see how easy it is. All growing up right out of high school, always been very pleased with Discount Tire, very pleased with their warranty. One of my first, my Tacoma that I purchased uh, about 10 years ago uh, had Discount Tire's warranty on it and they were awesome. I think I got a flat or something and they ended up giving me a brand new tire for free or a huge discount on a full set because they didn't meet mileage, something like that. So ever since then, I've really been happy with Discount Tire. Unfortunately, last year when I went to get my uh, General Grabber tires mounted at Discount Tire, they would not mount them because I ordered an upsized tire and the rim width was too narrow for the tires I ordered. They were a really wide tire and so they kind of have to wrap around. Um, it's what you get when you're doing aftermarket stuff. Uh, discount Tire basically identified that it wasn't a safe thing and so their corporate has kind of given them guidelines to follow, which um, doesn't give you the flexibility for me, somebody who wants to kind of be customized, change things up, but for 99% of buyers, the average consumer, they're gonna be a great option and they're gonna take care of you. Obviously, if you're putting your same size tires back on, they're not gonna decline yeah, the service. So uh, let's get to it, we'll get them installed and uh, we'll show you some look what they look like. So I guess I should listen to my voicemails. I was just going through my voicemails for, for the morning and I got a voicemail from Discount Tire at 5.50 last night, 10 minutes before they closed. Hello, my name is John. I'm calling from Discount Tire in Joplin. Today's Monday the 30th at 10 till 6 in the evening. I was just calling to touch base let you know we got Doug. Thank you for placing the web order for uh, some trailer tires. Uh, I got it this morning and uh, the order was placed. I did, however, want to reach out uh, just to touch base, I, I see that we've got, uh, we're tentatively scheduled to be here uh, first thing in the morning, uh, and we look forward to getting it done. We, however, don't take delivery of tires, uh, typically just until starting around 11 or 12, uh, and so if it's okay, um, so like I said, tires are still coming. As soon as they arrive, 
or reach out and give you a call. If you have any questions, give us a call, 417-208-0266. Thanks. Bye. So, uh, very professional, great, you know, great information, very professional, basically saying, hey, we're not going to be ready for you, but in a professional way. So I like that. Good, good job on them. Um, probably could have reached out to me a little bit earlier in the day, but on the, on the flip side of things, maybe they were hoping that the tires would show up that day and then they would be able to get to this. Um, who knows? You know, we all procrastinate things. I definitely do it. Um, so maybe they got their order at 10, 11 yesterday and just didn't get around to calling me until the afternoon, called me, said, hey, it's gonna be later. A uh, little bit unfortunate for my schedule. Uh, the reason I scheduled it when I did, it was one of the earliest available appointments online, uh, which is obviously causing a conflict now with tires not being here yet. So, uh, wanted to get it done early in the day, as well as today's a rain day. So it rained really heavy last night. So I'm kind of out of work this morning and scheduling things like uh, appointments and meetings in the mornings really helps me kind of mitigate that problem. Uh, getting tires done at 8.30, I've got a, a meeting with a client at 10. Uh, these things kind of help me stay it, it working even if it's uh, just after a rainstorm. So probably gonna mess up my day, probably gonna have to be here in the home office for a little bit longer, working on bids and estimates, and then we'll go to the, I've got my uh, meeting at 10 o'clock, and then I'll probably have to do a discount tire after that. So that's getting kind of into my working time towards midday afternoon when things start to dry out. Um, but overall, uh, very professional. Uh, We'll continue to, to share this journey with you as we go to Discount Tire and have these tires installed. Thank you for choosing Discount Tire. This is John. How may I help you? Hello, John. This is Carson. You called and left me a message about my trailer tires yesterday afternoon. Yes, sir. Oh, good. I'm glad uh, we were able to touch base. Yeah. Um, I take it you got the message. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, so I saw the, the order. Thanks for placing it uh, first thing yesterday morning. Uh, ordered them immediately. They'll be here today. Um, typically, we start taking deliveries around 11-ish. Um, and if it's okay, uh, as soon as they hit the ground, you'll know it. I uh, just want to make sure that, you know, that's going to work for you. And just want to touch base. I know how frustrating it is to show up somewhere and then find out, okay, guess what? Yeah, definitely. No, I appreciate the courtesy call. I was, I was ho hoping to get it done this morning with the, you know, we do landscaping. So trying to use that downtime after the rain. But yeah, if you give me a call when it comes in, we can figure out our schedule and see what works best. I absolutely will. Okay, thank you, John. You bet, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Has shed some light on some things that are interesting. Uh, I don't know how they work, I don't know how they operate. I kind of assumed when I ordered them online that that would kind of be immediately trigger a, a shipment to their store. Um, obviously, that was a naive assumption. Sounds like they had to receive the order from online and then they had to place the order. So I believe I placed this Sunday. I, I, I placed the order over the weekend, Saturday or Sunday for sure. Um, might have even been Sunday night late. So um, probably wouldn't have changed things. Maybe they could have got an order in and it had it delivered yesterday, but this is what it is. Obviously, this, the local store has to place that order. I'm sure that gives them the opportunity to check their inventory, double check, make sure that they don't have those tires in stock. That they, if they do need them, they can order them in from their local hub or warehouse, or whatever. So, a little bit of light on the situation. Um, they're waiting on those tires, essentially. So, what can I do? My hands are tied. Um, I tried to be courteous. You know, it, do, it does affect me. It does change my schedule, but I don't need to be a jerk about it. Like, um, you know, they're, they're trying their best, and they, like I said, very professional, uh, handling it really well. So ho hopefully they don't feel like I'm mad, um, even though this is definitely a situation where they probably get a lot of clients upset, and that's why they're trying to mitigate those uh, customer complaints. So um, I'll let you know when they call me. So apparently I was wrong on a few different fronts. Uh, this is not a D-rated tire, this is a C-rated tire, and this is not a radial. This is a bias ply tire, as can be seen by the D indicator. So this is a ST205. 75D15 Carlisle Sport Trail LH tire. It's the 101N. Thanks for watching this video on the trailer tires, what I chose, why I chose it, different information about tires. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one. Hello, John. John, John there.
Thank you for choosing Discount Target. This is John. How may I help you? 